so see if there is a current source in a circuit just like this okay so how can we solve it further like just I always told my student like just imagine that current source is your enemy okay uh, why it is behaving like an enemy because after seeing the current source you are having that feeling now that if instead of this current source we are having the voltage source then we can solve it easily right so this current source is your enemy always in every case in the theorems also so what you will do with your enemy either you can kill your enemy correct or either you will avoid the path where your enemy is present okay you are having only two options so in this we will study how to avoid the path where your enemy is present for killing purpose I will tell you the another method clear now first of all what was what was our uh, first step first step is to have number of meshes how many number of meshes are there how many rooms are there two rooms two meshes just imagine this one is the room of i1 and this one is the room of i2 okay one more thing i suggest my students like that that always take in the same direction same in the sense don't do it like this in one question you are taking clockwise and in another question you are taking anti-clockwise like that okay this will create a confusion to you it's better to take always like this the same pattern so that so that mind should not think again and again okay so like me every time I make it a clockwise always okay it's not hard and fast but it's just like how we train our mind okay next step is to mark the sign convention positive negative positive negative positive negative positive negative uh, in this current source we can't mark the sign over there okay we have to mark the sign across the resistance and across the battery only got it okay. now we have two variables for that we need two equation right so first of all we have to make direct equation from the current source okay if there is a current source we have to make direct equation from current source always first step we have to see whether it is in the middle wall of your house or in the corner wall of your house because middle wall concept is different and corner wall concept is different so just imagine that this is the middle wall of your house right so current source is present in the middle wall and remember I told you in the last class that in the middle wall there is a flow of single current or double current double current so in this uh, middle wall there is a flow of double current means 8 ampere would be equal to the flow of double current as you can see 8 ampere i1 and i2 both are flowing right so it can be i1 plus i2 it can be minus i1 plus i2 it can be i2 minus i1 right or it can be minus i2 minus i1 so we have to see which one is the correct one we have to see according to the direction of current now as you can see that i1 is moving up to down right but 8 ampere is moving down to up so if i1 is moving in the opposite direction of 8 ampere so if i told you in the opposite direction then the sign would be negative otherwise the sign would be positive i1 is moving in the opposite direction so i1 would be negative okay I1 would be negative now see I2 and 8 ampere I2 is moving like this down to up and similarly 8 ampere is also moving down to up so both are moving in the same direction same direction means the positive so correct equation is this one and that would be equal to 8 ampere got it you can yeah you can do it later on also like first I'll tell you all the equations okay this is our first equation okay now we have to make the second equation also because we are having two variables correct so second equation will make it from the mesh okay so as you are standing at a position and you have to be back to a only right so you are moving from a to b okay now b to a if you'll move you see that your enemy is present right 
means current source is present so you are you have to avoid that path where your enemy is present correct so instead of choosing the shortest path uh, you can take the longest path but you won't move through the path where your enemy is present then you move from b to c c to d f to a okay now technically this concept is known as super mesh technically this concept is known as super mesh now again we have to say uh, apply kvl in the super mesh super mesh is a b c d e f we have to take the second sign always as i told you you are moving from a to b what is the second sign minus 5 i1 then minus 6 current flowing in the 6 ohm is i2 then minus 20 then d to e nothing is there e to f then plus 10 is equal to 0 this is our second equation now we are having two equations and the two variable we can solve it easily then we'll get the value of i1 and i2